I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, October 19th, 2005, Hurricane Wilma underwent explosive deepening over the open waters of the Caribbean. It reached 882 millibar from 982 in a span of 24 hours, making it the fastest pressure drop of any storm in the Atlantic and is currently the lowest recorded pressure for a tropical cyclone measured in the Western Hemisphere. The eye was about three miles in diameter, the smallest known eye of an Atlantic hurricane. Wilma made several landfalls in the Caribbean, with the most destructive in the Yucatan Peninsula. The Yucatan's tourist hotspots in Florida's sugar and citrus industries were crippled. Apocalyptic conditions rocked Cozumel, weighs five to eight meters high. In Isla Mujeres reported 64 inches of rain. Overall, at least 62 deaths were reported, with roughly $30 billion in damage, making it among the top five costliest hurricanes ever recorded. With Wilma, 2005 broke the record for the most storms in a season, previously held by 1933. The name Wilma was the first time the W name was used in the Atlantic Basin since alphabetical naming began in 1950. Five years ago, I'm Mark Mancuso.